Good morning friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited and all truth video. Today very pleasant subject, coffee. I would like to talk about best way to drink coffee for energy. Coffee is a stimulant also should satiate you, so how to stay with feeling of being full and not hungry for longer while drinking coffee and also how to lose weight while drinking coffee all of that coming up but for now can i please ask you a big favor if you like this or other videos please like subscribe and hit that notification um, bell so you won't miss any uh, future videos also this video comes under umbrella trust me i'm not a doctor not this video not other videos on my channel providing any medical advice uh, what I'm doing here is making sure that I help people with lifestyle and um, dietary requirements and everything else that keep them away from a doctor. Doctors are brilliant people, they diagnose people and then give them medication, they're not looking after people's health. However, today we're talking about coffee. Which way is the best way to drink coffee? I think you guessed it. The best way to drink your coffee is black, straight black coffee. You can define the strength you want, but anything that you add to your coffee will diminish coffee's ability to provide you most of the benefits that coffee provides. So let's talk about uh, why we need to drink coffee straight. So first thing that people usually add to coffee is sugar. What coffee does when it hits the body, it uh, rises, uh, it stimulates the body, releases a little bit of cortisol, so please drink your coffee when you're not stressed. But it will give you feeling of energy, because when you're stressing the body, it releases that uh, uh, fight or flight kind of uh, response. And that, if you're in a good mood, if you're in a good position to drink coffee, will give you a lot of... Um, perceived energy or wake you up it won't wake you up it will basically diminish levels of melatonin in your in your body but you will feel like you're more awake you you feel you're more alert and you'll feel a little bit more energy it's a feeling it's not true representation of what's going on but that's it is when you add sugar what happens there sugar will try after it goes to bloodstream it will try to go to uh, all cells for energy and most likely you just ate breakfast or or your cells not ready for uh, that amount of sugar and then it will spike insulin and insulin will try to remove that amount of glucose from your blood and it will create opposite effect from what people drinking coffee for it will make you a little bit more lethargic and it will store that amount of glucose that you consume as a fat uh, um, you know on the skin and other organs so it's not a good idea to add sugar to the coffee however i won't blame people that like sweet coffees there are solutions what to what to do there are amount of uh, fruit extracts and sugar alcohols that don't harm gut bacteria they're not i'm not saying the, sh the sugar replacements are good for you i'm very careful with that wording but they're not causing uh proven harm so a couple of those sweeteners are stevia erythritol and monk fruit i put links down below where you can get high quality non-gmo um, uh, derived uh, uh, erythritol and monk fruit then second biggest thing that uh, uh, people put in a coffee is milk I'm not against milk and tastes great, but the other taste that you can add to coffee for coffee to taste great. What's wrong with milk? Um, I would say there's nothing wrong with milk um, 100, 200 years ago. Most of the caseins in the milk were A2. A2. And if you're not adding A2 milk to your coffee, you're consuming A1 casein. A1 casein protein is really, really inflammatory. So the whole idea of healthy lifestyle to reduce inflammation in your body. So when you do something good and then you do something for taste, don't spoil your health because you're choosing a product that will make uh, more inflammation in your body. Choose something else. And I will talk about replacements quite soon. 
But uh, if you choose a milk, if you got option, if you have to have milk in your coffee, choose A2 milk and choose full cream milk. Low fat milks are plain nasty. I will probably create a separate video about that. Full cream, A2 milk, A or K. It's not okay to have a milk in a coffee. The reason is that because uh, besides protein, milk will have a lactose uh, in it. And lactose is a milk sugar. Sugar will spike insulin and uh, it will be stored as fat. So I'll create a separate video on intermittent fasting and how to lose weight. But milk has nothing to do with fasting. Milk in a coffee would be classed as a snacking. And snacking is a bad idea. Every time you spike insulin, you're not um, getting your metabolism uh, any break. And if uh, metabolism will be kind of getting overwork, it will slow down. And slow metabolism will mean um, if you eat even little food, it will store everything. So milk in a coffee is not a good idea. And I'll talk soon what are good replacements. So I, I think um, the biggest, closest substance to milk that you can put in a coffee surprise surprise is butter butter make from milk but in the in process of making butter especially ghee um, is most of the harmful substances are removed and if you use uh, butter from uh, grass-fed grass-finished uh, beef that butter is actually full of really good vitamins and minerals that would be beneficial so if you drink black coffee with no sugar or uh, good artificial sweeteners and you put butter in your coffee I would class your coffee as natural superfood. We're all hunting for superfood. Here you go. You can create superfood in your household, in cafe. Um, it's your choice. But coffee with butter is really, really good. Um, the second coffee that gained very um, big promotion popularity, I think, is because business in the United States called Bulletproof Coffee. It's when they... Um, add coconut oil into coffee uh, look it's uh, coconut is not everyone cup of tea uh, metaphorically speaking but if you don't like coconut oil just skip that uh, part of the video but if you don't mind uh, coconut taste uh, coconut oil is very beneficial our nervous system is really um, craving for good quality saturated fats Coconut oil, it's really good saturated fat. It will not only make you full for longer, it's not only don't spike insulin, it's also really good for whole nerve system. Uh, in combination with, with um, uh, B vitamins, coconut oil would do a lot of good to your body and bulletproof coffee could be actually consumed instead of breakfast. So, um, if you in ketogenic diet and if you understand the benefits of ketones opposing to glucose, another trend that picking up is uh, drinking black coffee with MCT oil. MCT oil, I don't want to go into detail, but MCT stands for medium chain triglyceride. So if you look at the um, chain of saturated fats, they got uh, low, medium and high amount of carbons attached to uh, to fat. So if you take in the middle between 8 and 10 carbons attached, it's a medium chain and it tends to be most beneficial. The reason is that it's not spiking insulin at all. It goes to liver and it will help to produce ketones for energy straight away. It will keep you fuller for longer it will create a lot of good energy in your body and will fight uh, oxidation. You know, we're all consuming antioxidants. So you don't need to oxidize your body to consume antioxidants. If you consume MCT, don't over consume it because there are side effects. But if you consume in a uh, right amount of MCT oil a day, it will actually fight for your body not to get oxidized in the first place. So you don't need as many antioxidants to fight radical damage in your body. 
So I'll put a link in the description and down uh, under the videos where I get my MCT oil. Uh, try not to get coconut oil with MCT because there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're already consuming MCT, try to consume it in organic, pure form so you can get maximum benefit. And there's no other better way to consume MCT oil than with coffee. You can consume it separately almost any time of day. Uh, don't consume it before going to sleep. But uh, MCT oil and coffee, it's another superfood that you can allow yourself. Well, I think it's enough uh, about coffee and how to drink it. Hopefully, you're making your decisions better now with coffee and it helps you to, um, as people will say, wake up, have more energy and stay healthy by drinking your um, favorite beverage. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane. Until next time.